Namaste people, welcome to Shweta's Basket. My name is Shweta and this is my basket, which are very lovingly packed with goodies like short stories, poems, book, movie and restaurant reviews, all absolutely fresh and original. For the reviews, you can head over to my website. And as for stories and poems, well, stick around. So finally, Valentine's Day has come and gone. And people are trying to get over their Valentine hangover. So here we have a poem to help negate the after effect of all that sweetness. Because this month, we at Shweta's Basket are committed to bringing to you some orange and lemon poems and stories. Just something to balance out the incredible sweetness that's been oozing from everywhere leading up to the Valentine's Day. For this is our hashtag unlove month and you can head over here in case you're tired of all things valentine and are craving a different flavor so we started this month with episode number 20 which had a poem titled how to write a poem by yours truly and it talked about a guy trying to impress the girl and teach her how to write poems to find out what she said to him please listen to episode number 20. Then we had episode number 22, where we had a poem titled Dusk's Promiscuity, written by the very talented Sonal Singh. And she also happens to be the writer of the poem I am going to recite today. Sonal has a poet's soul, and that is reflected in her love poems, nature poems, and some witty and wicked poems like Dusk's Promiscuity and the one that we have today. In this poem, the client is dead and the lawyer is reading the will. Let's see who gets the money. This poem is full of homophones, which add to the humor and charm of the poem. And this also means I had better do a good job of pronunciation and enunciation. So this is Sonal Singh with her poem, The Air. He let a pregnant pause hang in the air. Then he picked up the will, named the heir. The lawyer was a shrewd man, fully bald. As he read on, those bequeathed bald. His dead cunning client sure knew better. Left nil to his son the gambling better. To his sly wife he gave a wide berth. His daughter too got zilch, the one by birth. To his stepdaughter he was somewhat fair. He left her money, enough for bus fare. To his loyal servants he left his cash. I'm sure you wonder what about his gold cash. Ah well, I thought you would already know. But I see you shake your head in a no. (laughs) <laughs> the apiarist could not let it be. He bequeathed his fortune to his prized bee. Ha! <sighs> the luck of that honeybee. That's right, prized honeybee. Because apiarist is a fancy name for a beekeeper. I've heard of people leaving their fortunes to their dogs or cats or a worthy cause. But a bee, a first of everything, there has to be, right? So, if you had a fortune to leave, who would you leave it to? And no, you cannot leave it to the family. In your present life, apart from the family, who would you give it to? As for me, I think I will give it to, yep, the food delivery guys. Has to be them. (laughs) So write to me and let me know. My email ID is shweta at the richshwetasbasket.com and you will find that in the episode description as well. And people, that brings me to the end of this episode. Please visit my website www.shwetasbasket.com for more short stories, poems and reviews. And apart from emailing me, you can get in touch with me on Facebook and Instagram. My handle is shwetasbasket. I hope you caught my previous episodes. 
and not to miss any in the future please subscribe to my website and follow my podcast and guys have you thought about having a website of your own a place that is creatively yours well if you have then listen on and in the meantime this is shweta saying signing off till we meet again on the air bye for now Do you want to have a website of your own? Are you a writer, photographer, actor, makeup artist, hairstylist, or even a tutor, singer, painter, journalist, consultant? Or do you have your own cafe, restaurant, resort, holiday home, shop, small business, hospital, or even a blog, WordPress, or Blogspot account that you want to migrate to a good-looking website? Well, look no further. The geeks will help you, and you will find them in the Geeks Room at Artunzen. Just click on the link in the episode description. Yes, it's that simple to have a website. My website is hosted and managed by them. And want to know what I love about them? They are professional, customer pleasers, straight talkers and very competently priced. So what are you waiting for? Your website is just a click away.